All right, so let's bounce into the first exercise. And this is going to be on uh, tension systems. Right? This is exercise 1-1, one -one, nets. All right, so um, we're going to categorize a net as uh, something that is primarily um, influenced or kind of uh, utilizing tension forces. So we are going to pull on certain locations within the net to tension that net um, and have it smooth out into a shape that can translate all those forces throughout um, the kind of inner workings of the net. Right? So if we have uh, a diagram that looks something like this, right? we're going to um, notice that all of the forces that are moving through the net itself are tension forces, right? They're um, being pulled by all the different anchoring locations that are applying stress to the net, right? So the key things here are that the internal forces are in tension, and at the edge of our, um, wherever our anchors are, those are going to be fixed location. And kind of uh, implicit in that is that the anchor points are not going to move, right? So they're able to take up uh, all of the forces that are being pulled on them from the internal workings of this, we'll call it an elastic net, right? So in plan, um, all of the forces internal are in tension, right? And um, we could arrive at some uh, shapes that are going to generally have curvature that looks like this. It's opposite in either direction if you're moving across or along the shape. Those two um, uh, curvature measurements are going to be moving in the opposite direction. Right? So some more examples of that. You can make your own uh, little net or membrane by um, uh, pulling on the corners of some uh, lycra. And um, you can develop tension shapes such as this, right, by anchoring certain edges of the, of the net and pulling them in uh, different directions. And this just comes from uh, kind of a 2D plane and the manipulations that arrive from there. Right? Nets, this kind of uh, tension system can also be uh, found in nature, right, and like soap films, right, which are bound by a certain boundary condition. Again, this is from the Institute for Lightweight Structures in Stuttgart um, under the direction of Fry Auto, right, um, where if we have some soap film, right, and three bounding conditions, the net internal to uh, those connections will be in pure tension and we'll try to equalize all the forces moving through the surface of what we've been calling a net, right? And that can lead to all different kinds of uh, equilibrium shapes based on how many edge conditions you have and uh, how you're how you're connecting those edge conditions, and that can translate into something on a much larger scale, such as uh, Fry Auto's Montreal Expo Pavilion, right, which is a uh, tension structure with um, anchors at the ground as well as uh, some uh, tension poles that are holding the various uh, parts of the vertical direction of the tent up, right. It's a diagram of that same pavilion. Okay, so let's go ahead and start to develop our uh, tension system uh, file. All right, so go ahead and launch Rhino if you haven't already. And then launch Grasshopper right after. All right. And just a quick note on the uh, files that uh, we shared with you. Um, here in the folder that we um, that we shared, there's a file called one zero, and this is just a review uh, from uh, of Kangaroo and how it works. Right? Um, there's a physics engine. Here we can uh, allow the simulation to run. Right, and we have a control here that we can work with to um, develop a funicular curve, a catenary. Right, so this should be a little bit of a review. You can come back and reference that 
on your own time, and we're going to be working with anchors, springs, and um, a little bit particles to develop all of our equilibrium shapes today. And all of those elements are composed here, uh, or compose this file. Okay, so what we are going to be looking at in this first exercise is 1-1 one -one nets. You can see this is the extent of the file. And we're going to go ahead and build this up uh, from scratch. So I'm going to save this as a working file and go back to the start all the way here. And we're going to go ahead and um, build this up all the way from the beginning. All right, so the, the idea here is that we want to work with um, a one mesh face and have it operate as a tensioned system, such as the examples we saw. 